We are family, like a giant tree, branching out towards the sky. We are family, but we're so much more than just you and I. We are family, like a giant tree, branching out towards the sky. We are family, but we're so much more, more than just you and I. We are family. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here to review season one, episode four of Tyler Perry's drama that's streaming on Netflix, Beauty in Black. And the episode to this episode is episode four of season one and is titled Family Affair, which is why I decided to sing that beautiful song dedicated to the family because it's such a beautiful family, right? And they all gathered around the conference tape. <laughs> so I figured I'd sing that for them. But anyway, before I get into that review, let me give a shout out to my lovely subscribers. Shout outs to folks like Kryptonian Black, Saxton Heights. Alan Welch, what's up, Alan? Barbie J, Lamont Simpson, what's up, Lamont? Your boy, Coy, what's up, Coy? Deshaun Jenkins, Miss Tasha, how you doing, Miss Tasha? Long time no see, Miss Tasha. And Miss Butterfly Jam, 19, Jam 1978. That was a good year, y'all. And all the rest of you lovely people, I hope I didn't miss anybody. I tried to write down all the names, but... All the lovely people that's leaving comments down and below and helping this channel go and grow. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share. Let's keep the channel going and growing and growing and growing like my muscles. Y'all like my muscles? Hercules! Well, let me not make it about me. I'm doing too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Let's get down to this episode. So we start off with Uncle Norman coming in here. Uncle Norman is hot. He came in there with... Aunt Ina's shoe, which one of you MFers ran over my wife? I found this. I laughed so damn hard. <laughs> he can't stand none of the family. We see the family dynamics here. He went through, he done told off Charles, called Charles a fruitcake and a sissy and a this and a that because Charles is gay. Said the sons wasn't nothing but pieces of whatever. And Horace is like, who are you to come in here? So the brothers don't get along at all. Mallory tried to say something that she the one that ran over poor Aunt Ina and left Aunt Ina on the road like a pretzel. I'm still trying to figure out why Aunt Ina couldn't just go on the treadmill at that time of night and, and run in the house. You got money. Why the hell are you out on the middle of the road in the rain? But hey, okay. So anyway, I guess she figured it was a private road. Nobody was going to come speeding, but she ain't here the car. And why are you in the middle of the rope? Anyway, that, that's, that's not here nor there. Aunt Ina's hanging on by a thread. And Uncle uh, Norman is pissed off. So anyway, that this, this conference is crazy. But we learn the dynamics of the business. You see, Horace tried to kick Norman out of the business. And Norman was like, I'm the chemist. And Horace said, yeah, you're the reason why we got this damn cancer lawsuit because whatever chemicals you was using. And so when he said that to Norman, he said, you know, the chemicals, you the reason we got in this mess. I'm a chemist. That's your response to being accused of causing cancer? That's your response? I'm a chemist, so you, you are responsible is what you're saying. And then he accused Charlie of running over. Charlie said, I ain't do it, but I wish I did run the bitch over. I said, yo, this family just wild and dysfunctional and crazy. They didn't call each other pieces of S and all types of names. And then the thing that got me, Horace hates his own sons too. He had the nerve. Here's the hypocrisy here. He liked dibbling and dabbling with the men. But then he had the nerve to tell his son, you know, you're disgusting. And all you do is, you know, she told the mother, he told his Olivia, this is the reason why they turn out like this, especially him. All he do is climb on top of men. But you go in the strip clubs trying to climb on top of men. Hypocrite much? Mmm. Interesting. So I, I but that, that scene was crazy. Especially when he told her, he said, listen, I'm going to let y'all know. Uncle Norman said, I'm going to let y'all niggas know. Right? Because he called them all kind of niggas and everything. I'm going to let y'all know right now. And he keep focusing on 
Charles, why does he want it to be Charles so badly? He was like, I'm going to let y'all know. If I, once I find this out, I'm burning this beauty in the black down to the ground. And now Olivia's, she's petrified. She's like, oh, 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 he's so dangerous. He's so dangerous. But the whole family's dangerous. So I don't know why she's so petrified. No one else seemed to really care of the way she does. And she's like, oh, we can't let this happen. And we see her plea and we see her arguing with Horace and they go through back and forth. Then she goes to Norman herself and she's telling Norman, oh, Norman, please don't hurt my boys. Her boys don't seem to care. Charles is not phased at all. And I noticed Olivia likes Charles, but she don't really care for Roy. She don't care for him. I noticed that. But she's Charles, he, all he want to do is have sex and go party. And she's like, please, baby. Oh, Lord. You know, you got to have that oh, Lord moment in the Tyler Perry show. Oh, Lord, Charles, please. Now, Charles, please, please come home with me. He says, listen, I'll get a hotel or whatever. Because she's saying Uncle Norman is dangerous. He's like really dangerous. He is the devil. But then she goes to Uncle Norman herself and she's trying to plead with him. He's like, I'm going to kill your boys, whatever. Then she says, ah, 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 not so fast. Look, look at these papers I got right here. These papers will put you and Horace in jail because y'all doing all this sex trafficking and all types of foolishness with this company. He said, you think I care about that? And we also learn that Olivia and Horace messed around before because they mentioned that. And she told him, listen, she said, I will bring that. And he said, well, when it comes to people that I love, I go berserk. And she said, so do I. And he said to her, why do you love those sorry pieces of MFers so much? Or something like that. She said, because those are my MFers. MFer? I said, that was funny. That was catchy. That was funny. But I'm like, mm, mm, mm. It, it was just, it was just uh, crazy. That whole thing. So I was like, Phew. Oh, Beauty and the Black, what's going on? So what else happened after that? Then we have an interesting thing that went on. Uh, we have Norman going to Jules, who Jules is playing both sides of the fence because he's deal, he works for Norman, but he also deals with uh, Horace, too. And Jules is like, you better, he tells Jules, you better get to the bottom of this and find out what's going on. And in that conversation is where Charles mentioned something about almost seeing Roy about to have some relations with that young lady who is, um, uh, she is Mallory's assistant, which triggers the other dude. He's like, um, what's going on here? What do you mean? And that was interesting. And we're going to get to a little bit more of that so much. Then we go to Kimmy. And Kimmy's mother calls her. See, we've seen Kimmy's mother in flashbacks. Now she still has the, first of all, you abandoned me. And now you calling me asking for money. And apparently Kimmy been sending money to the family. But the mother is still with her piece of garbage boyfriend, Frank, who was touching and hunching on her own daughter. And you still would, I'm like, and she's like, listen, he don't like for me to call you, but make sure you send me some money. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I don't know that that was that was that was ridiculous. And Kimmy is in all this debt. She's not making the money, and I guess she lied to her mother about what her profession is. But she's she's sending money home, and I'm like, you sending money home, and you staying in a motel? I, I I just don't get that. I don't get what's going on with that. Also, in this episode, we see um, Horace show up to the club to meet with Kimmy. And while he's there at the VIP section, Charles is also there. And he's canoodling or carrying on with Angel. And now Horace don't like this at all. He's like, what's this going on? And then did y'all notice how Kimmy keeps taking these little shots at Horace and saying things to Horace? Like, because she believes Horace is, knows everything that's going on with the club and all that. But Horace does not know all these things that she thinks he knows, but she does think he knows. And uh, it's like, mm, very interesting. He, she thinks he knows all these different things, but he doesn't. And I'm like, hmm. So they're having that conversation, which was very interesting. He's like, get Angel away from, he doesn't want Angel near 
his son, Charles, and he said, do you know if my son Charles knows that I'm here? He can't know that I'm here. Of course he can't know that you're there because you don't want him to know that you and him both like to dibble and dabble with men, you know? So that, that was interesting. But let's go back a little bit. Let's go to Mallory and what she was trying to do in this episode. And we see her messing with the lawyer or attempting to mess with the lawyer. What's his name? Varney? And she says to Varney, you know, let's have lunch, let's have a drink, whatever. Then she come flat out. Do you want to F me? And he's like, he never answered. Because if you do, you know you can. That was desperate right there. That was kind of, that was desperate. Like, damn, you're just flat out. Do you want to F me? Has that ever happened to any of y'all? That has happened to me before. I don't know. Lately, I've been getting a lot of that. Why am I making this about me? This is not about me. I've been getting people. To people coming on to me like that. Like, hey, you want to... Sometimes it throws you off. And so he seemed a little bit thrown off. He was like, hey, hey. So he said, you know, I think you had too much to drink. I'm going to leave. She said, no, you're not going to leave. You're not going to embarrass me. I'm going to leave you here and you're going to pay. Then she makes her way on down over to, to Calvin, who's her security. And what's the other girl's name? Jillian. And Jillian, early in the episode, we saw Calvin in... Uh, having a conversation with Jules and Charles and Charles had mentioned that Jillian almost went down on Roy. And now we learned that Calvin and Jillian are messing around. So now Calvin's pissed off like, yo, you, you almost went down on him. What's going on? And she's like, the family owns us and blah, blah, blah. What that got to do with what you trying to do. So he's pissed off with her about that. Now Mallory has him in the car. She says, first of all, Mallory treats these people like trash, but Mallory says, Jillian, you're not riding with us. Calvin's going to take me home. And then she has him pull over and she tells him to pull over. And she's like, yeah, pull over. Yeah, come on, pull over. Let's, let's, mm, 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 mm. She wants him to pull over and she tells him, she says, she says, get in the back. And then they get in the back seat and then she's talking about how she's older and she used to be beautiful and how she makes Jillian dress a certain way. And long story short, she does all of that and these two end up getting it on in the back seat of the car. You know, they getting on, they have, and then Jillian's not too far watching and looking, but I don't know what that, what difference does it make? You ain't going to do nothing about it. So what was the point of that? So that was interesting. And then we have Angel. Angel has this plan where he wants to rob. Now this didn't make sense to me. He's like, let's rob this dude. Let's rob. Now, if you think this dude is all powerful and as threatening as he is, why do you want to come up with this plan to rob him? I don't know about that plan. But anyway, Angel and Horace go back to the motel of Kimmy's motel. And they go there and he's like, give us some alone time. So I'm thinking, is Angel going to do something stupid and try to rob this man? But, you know, they get in there and they do him whatever, whatever. And he's rubbing on Angel and then he coughs up blood and the blood gets on Angel's body and Angel's like, oh my God, is this contagious? And then runs in the bathroom and then he's like, oh my goodness, what is that? You know, just craziness. And then we see Kimmy going to the hospital to go visit Rain. And she gets in there and she finds out. She goes to the hospital, the bed is empty. She says, oh my God, what happened to Rain? And some other patient laying in the bed next to her goes, she died, baby. And that's how the episode ended. <laughs> this show... I don't know. This show's crazy. This show's crazy. But that is how episode four ended. What did y'all think about episode four? What did y'all think? And I need to get these reviews cranked out because I've already... I'm doing them. I've split them up. But after episode four, I ended up watching the remaining episodes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start... I'm just going to get them out, these reviews out. But... I thought episode four was interesting and I was seeing more twists and turns and more dysfunction. And then, yeah, the show is crazy. It's crazy. So that's my thought. I thought this episode was interesting. I know I laughed at certain things that was happening in this episode. And I'm still waiting for Kimmy to get a little bit tougher or whatever. I did notice she seems to get real firm and strong with Horace, but she don't talk that way to everybody else that mistreats her. And that kind of pisses me off. So that is my review of episode four. Tell me your thoughts down below. Did you enjoy this episode? 
hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video. I got to get on up out of here because I got to get to the gym. Oh, and today's election day. I should have said that at the top of this. Make sure you go out there and vote. I already voted earlier today, but I got to hit the gym. So I will talk to you all later. I will see you all in the next video.